Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and welcome. My name is Muhammad Ali and today we will cover the topic of greetings. When you wake up in the morning, you ready yourself by washing up. And after you're done, you go downstairs and the first thing you do is greeting your parents, wife or siblings. When you are walking down the street and you see a fellow colleague or friend, you greet him with a smile and ask him about his day. This action of greeting one another or initiating greeting is very common and can be categorized under the clone of rational thinking. It is an action that doesn't need proof because it's universal. Now the viewer might be asking, what does this topic have to do with Islam? Well, the answer will be provided. You see, the religion of Islam, as we have stated before, covers a wide range of categories. In this category lies the category of greetings and Islam has placed very high importance on greetings. Greetings in Islam are considered to be very important and it is categorized under the Sunnah, traditions of the Holy Messenger, peace be upon him and his family. We will narrate to you the following tradition on the authority of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family, he said, when you meet each other, then initiate greeting, salam and embrace. And when you separate from each other, then depart with seeking forgiveness. What beauty lies in the tradition of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family. This is what Islam teaches us, to greet the fellow Muslim brother upon meeting him and parting ways seeking forgiveness. We pray to Allah that we are able to enact the traditions of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his family. May peace and blessing be upon Muhammad and his holy project. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.